Hello, 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 lovely people. I am back for another toys pickup. Um, yeah, picked up some crazy random toys over the last few months. Um, so, let's check them out. Uh, first things first, I got this in a Kinder Surprise Easter egg, a gigantic Kinder Surprise Easter egg, which I think is still illegal in the USA because kids aren't very smart and might choke on them over there if there's a toy inside a egg but here it's a free-for-all <laughs> um, so it was a gigantic Easter egg and it had all well, Kinder Surprise Easter egg and these are pretty well made like that is a pretty well made toy it does like things and it can fly it's now like a hovercraft Whee! Um, <laughs> I think they spin around yeah there we go so, they're pretty well made for just like, you know, a toy you get inside chocolate. So, that's a random pickup. Um, I had to put a little bit of it together. It was in pieces. Um, so, that was cool. Uh, I thought I'd get myself into, because why not, into, I didn't realise they were a thing, like a crazy thing. Um, a Gundam model. Um, I like Gundam anime. Um, and I just started watching another series um, just recently. I was like, oh, it'll be cool to get like a statue of it or something like that because they're pretty cool. And then I found out you can get all these things like that you build yourself. And then as I did some Googling, I was like, holy dooly, what have I got myself into? Um, so picked up one of these, it was super cheap. So I was like, just to try it out. And then Bodza. Um, he gave me two more um, to build and have, <laughs> so it's going to be a bit crazy. Anyway, so this one I didn't realise, usually it tells you on the box or something, even though it's all in Japanese, um, that you don't need to paint it, but this one you do need to paint a lot of parts, which is kind of annoying, but it was super cheap, so it didn't really matter. Oh no, I just dropped it. It's alive, it's alive. So this is the finished product. Again, the black parts are but parts I need to bit paint, like his shield and his boomerang thing and his sword. Um, there are some stickers on it, like on the back here. Sticker. Here's another sword that I need to paint. Again, oh, and the the gun across his back there, which comes off, but I don't want to take it off just yet. But it's got a little bit of articulation. Oh, nod his head and stuff. So, again, it was a bit of a time filler. It does take a while to build these things. But, a bit random. A bit of a random and toy pickup. Um, but I have two more to build and I'll show you them when I finish building them. Eventually. <laughs> um, now, they did these crazy crossovers with Ninja Turtles and WWE. Um, but as I found out, uh, and I'll see if I can do like a screenshot in this, um, video, but like, I really like Leonardo, if you've seen my previous videos, you know I like Leonardo, um, and John Cena as well, is uh, pretty hilarious, so this is super rare to get, and people were trying to sell these for like a hundred dollars on eBay, because that's how rare these ones are, the same with, um, Mikey and Macho Man, I think, is the other super rare one. But, like, the Sting and Raphael and... Who was Donatella crossed with? Oh, The Undertaker. They're super easy to find. But So, I went to many, many stores to try and find this, and I finally found it. Um, it took a long while to find it. So, here we go. And if I ever <laughs> am strapped for cash... I know I can flog this on eBay and get a ton of money just for a bit of plastic. But there we go. How cool is it? That is pretty amazing. Now, oh, I could have just looked on the back. <laughs> there we go. That, so this one is pretty easy to find and Undertaker one is pretty easy to find. I found those everywhere. But he was impossible. And then I have never seen this one on the shelves. Which is why they're probably charging so much money for it. So 
there we go. These are pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And finally, these are super expensive here, but I managed to find one on special. Um, Nightwing. So these here, usually in Australia, are like $40, $45. Again, insane. Who's paying that for this? Um, but one of the stores, I was like eBay Games or something like that, was selling these for like $19. So I was like, that's a reasonable price. And uh, the reason why I got the Nightwing one is, uh, it's hard to see, but he has a gigantic mullet and is hilarious. Nightwing mullet. Again, hard to see because it's in the packaging, but crazy mullet. <laughs> I was like, that's so awesome. He's got a mullet. It does come with all these other pieces, like, too. These are called Wingdings. So, that is hilarious in itself. Um, the Nightwing Batarangs are called Wingdings. And it has, like, a base with more parts in it that you can interchange. So there we go. Nightwing mullet. Toy, statue, figurine. Um, there we go. So, they're my recent pickups. Um, I couldn't go past the Nightwing mullet. Leonardo and John Cena and a little Gundam toy statue I don't know what you call them I don't read Japanese so I don't know what the official title for them are but there we go uh, yeah until next time for more random toy pickups um, and whatever else I may do bye